Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in and I believe you are doing great. From the title and the thumbnail, you all can see we are making onion oil for massive hair growth to get thick hair and also to grow your edges. I'll show you two methods of making this onion oil and you like it, okay? Without further ado, let's get started. I'm using two of the onions, the red and then the white one. Of course, I'm going to peel the skins off, wash it nicely and cut it into pieces. And we will continue from there. Now, after peeling off the skins, let's discard them, clean the working surface, and then come back and cut the onions nicely into pieces. And since I'm all about not breaking the blender, I'll then cut the onions into smaller pieces so that the blender can easily blend it without breaking the, the blades, okay? We are done cutting the onions, so now let's transfer them into the blender. Alright family, this is the quantity of onions I'm using for the oil today. So you can use more onions or even less. It's all up to you, okay? And now let's add carrier oil to the onions instead of water. You don't need to add water to the onions to blend it. Please add carrier oil. And I'm using grapeseed oil. You can use any oil of your choice. You can use coconut oil, which I usually use. Walnut oil, almond oil. Just use any oil of your choice. Now that it's done blending, we are going to add grapeseed oil again to the saucepan. And then add the blended onion to the oil so now we are infusing the onions nutrients and flavor into the oil and the best temperature is low to medium temperature okay that is it it's best for this method we are now on the second method with this method we are going to cut the onions into smaller pieces okay and we are not going to do any blending with this onion there's no blending here it's only chop 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 okay we are only cutting it up and then we continue from there so keep watching in order not to miss a step we are done cutting up the onions and it's time to put them in the measuring jug you can use any container of your choice it doesn't have to be a measuring jug okay and today i'm using shea butter you can use coconut oil or any oil of your choice I clearly remember under the carrot oil videos, some of you were asking me if they can use shea butter. Yes, the answer is simply yes. Shea butter is good. You can use shea butter, okay? Especially if you are using it for your hair growth. It's never wrong to use shea butter to grow your hair. It's even the best. Shea butter is so good. And my Ghanaians will attest to this. Shea butter is so far what I even use for my hair. And it's so, so good. Now, to help melt the shea butter easily, I'm going to cut it into pieces and add it to the onions in the measuring jug. So, when we get to the end, almost the end of the video, I mean, I will show you how to apply this onion oil into your hair for it to help grow your hair fast and thicken up your hair as well as growing your edges. If you've lost your edges, don't worry. This oil will help grow your edges back. Okay, so keep watching and go nowhere. To those of you who have seen my carrot oil video, this method is not new to you. We are coming to do the steaming method, all right, where I will put the measuring jug, which contains the shea butter and the onions, into the boiling water. The steam will then melt down the shea butter and the process will take place, okay? So now we are at the point 
where we have to babysit the onions. We have to keep stirring the one that we are frying so that it doesn't burn. And also, we have to keep an eye on the steaming one so that water doesn't enter the oil. So soon, the shea butter has melted. And so far, so good. With the frying one, we're going to keep stirring until it's golden brown or brown. As soon as it's golden brown or brown, you then turn off the heat for it to cool down. Beautiful guys, I love the amazing aroma of the onions in my kitchen. Wow, so amazing. So very soon we should be straining the oil from the onion pulp. And here we are, the onion is already cooled down. I'm going to use my muslin cloth to do the straining. You can use chiffon cloth or any cloth of your choice. Gently cover your container with your muslin cloth or chiffon cloth. Transfer the onion and the oil onto the muslin cloth or chiffon cloth or even your nutmeg bag. Gently squeeze out the oil into the container and guys, we will continue from there. Okay, so keep watching and go nowhere. So far, if you are enjoying this video, please give your girl a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment and recommend this channel to friends and families who may be interested in my recipes or my amazing ideas, okay? And if you are new, hey, you are warmly welcome. I hope you are being inspired to join this amazing family. So please click on the red subscribe button, click on the bell button to join us and you will never ever regret it, okay? So now squeeze the oil out gently. That's the first method and now we are on the second method where we use shea butter again cover the container with the chiffon cloth or any other cloth and transfer the onion and the oil onto the cloth gently bring it together like a nut and then squeeze the oil out of the pulp So family, with this method, unlike the frying method, you can all clearly see there is still onion juice in the oil. After squeezing out the oil and of course some of the juice from the pulp, use a spatula or a spoon to mix the oil, the onion juice and some of the onion pulp that sneak its way into the oil together. Just mix them together. And leave them for some time, okay? Once they stay for some time, you will see that the onion pulp and juice will settle at the bottom of the oil, okay? And as soon as we see that, we will just use our spoon to collect the oil from the top. That is the first method. And I will do that with the grape seed oil. I can even let this grape seed oil stay for 24 hours to get a clear separation. So that I can easily collect the oil without having any trace of juice or onion pulp in the oil I'm collecting. And this is a long process. So I usually put my oil in the freezer for a few hours for the oil to separate from the onion pulp and juice. And that is it. It's so quick and so easy for me. But some of you are complaining that what if there is no freezer? What if there is no light? then please go with the first method okay it's also good but that needs more time okay so now we're going to bring the solid oil from the bowl and then cut the juicy part from the solid oil once that is done you can let the oil remain like that that's solid or you melt it 
It's all by your choice, okay? Gently bring the oil out. Use your spoon or knife to cut or scrape the juicy and pulp side out and then leave the main oil on the plate. Repeat this same process until you are done cutting the juicy and pulp part from the solid oil. So now after collecting your oil, you can then discard the juice if you don't need it and then use kitchen towel to just pat the oil dry. I mean the solid oil dry, okay? Like what I'm doing. Just clean it up nicely from all the juice and let it remain dry. You can either leave it like this in a container or you melt it down. It's all by your choice. This is how I'm storing my shea butter onion oil. You don't even have to go through the process of melting this down by using the sun, microwave, or even boiling water. And just scoop some into your palm, rub your palm together, and just like that, it melts down and you apply it onto your scalp. It's so quick and it's so easy. However, I still want you to see the oil, so I'm going to melt this and it will be right back, okay? So now we're going to focus on the second method. And with the second method, as I mentioned earlier, you let the oil stay for a long time for proper separation of the oil, the onion juice, and then the onion pulp. Once you have that, you gently and patiently use your spoon to scoop the oil into another container. Make sure that some of the onion juice and pulp do not follow the oil or else it wouldn't stay long on the shelf and guys that is it we are all done with the onion oil this will help your hair grow thicker and longer it will help grow the edges of your hair if you've lost it don't worry apply this every time and you get your hair back if you want your oil to stay longer on the shelf then discard this one the one in the glass bowl and keep the clear one. You then use any essential oil to tone down the strong smell of the onion. It's optional, okay? But it's also good. Now stir to combine nicely. Hmm, this onion smells good. Now let me show you how to apply the onion oil to grow your hair. Just use it an hour or two before you wash your hair. This is how to do it. Just pour some into your palm, rub it together and gently massage it in circular motion onto your scalp. Do this to stimulate the hair follicles every time you are about to wash your hair. Do this and you will see the massive change in your hair growth. Thank you all for watching and I believe you are inspired to try this. And if this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you are new, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching and see you all again in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay safe, be good, enjoy and kiss. Take care. Bye you all.